load management, uh, you know, you guys are in a good spot, but would it be a tough ask to, to sit if you, if you could play? Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of variables that come into play. Um, obviously, we just had four games this past week. we got four more coming up with a lot of travel, so I think all that kind of gets looped in. You try to make the best decision you can on a daily basis um, with whatever factors or things that are in play. So, um, you know, we got, our, I think, our final back-to-back -back of the regular season this weekend as well. So um, all those things are a part of it. Um, and just trying to make sure that... Uh, you know, we're we're uh, continue rolling and and feeling good about our game and building on it. And uh, whoever needs it, to obviously, uh, I don't want to say so much rest, but make sure you're just feeling physically good um, and healthy. Uh, you know, you know, finishing up uh, you know these couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of a, a situation by situation uh, basis, I think. How much of that is a perk of finishing where you do that you have that luxury, maybe? Of Resting guys, rather than having to go right to game 82, get the playoffs. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, that that would that would change uh, some things, but uh, we still have a lot to play for. Um, and uh, I've spoken about it many times. I think we just try to have the same approach we've had since uh, coming into the season, training camp, uh, early on in the year, and just uh, again ready for today um, and whatever those circumstances bring. And and uh, the guys that are going out there doing the best we can uh, play the way play we need the way we need to. Um, our identity and, and whatnot, and, and obviously individually continue to, to build your own game and for the guys that aren't playing to continue to do everything they can uh, to stay ready, stay sharp, uh, take advantage of uh, uh, the rest and, and what's needed. What does it say about the team that you guys have been able to win five to six games that Austin has missed this year? Yeah, I think obviously, you know, when you're missing someone like uh, like Poppy and, and uh, obviously the season he's having, I think we know, you know, you're not replacing that and, and not expecting uh, to, to fill those shoes with uh, one guy or even two guys. Just uh, the approach we have as a group, and I think it shows the depth we have as a team. Uh, you know, the, the, our ability to respond and, and, and meet and accept that challenge and what that brings, um, knowing we don't have, uh, you know, his presence and obviously his ability in the lineup. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, been a good job by the group and something we have to continue um, if that's ever the case, whether it's him or, or anyone else. Do you think this is the best version of Leafs since you've been here? Um, I, I, I believe we're in a really good spot and, and we've been building really well. Uh, I think, um, you know, we, we got up to, to many great starts, um, uh, so far since I've been here, but you know, this, this was a little bit of a different road to, at least to this point where we've, uh, a little bit of a slower start and we really got things going. And then, you know, we've, we've, we've been up and down at times and, you know, we've, uh, been building our game nicely here over the last number of weeks. So. You know, I think for us it's just to kind of continue with that mindset. I, I you know, to, to to look at that from a big picture standpoint, I think that's something to look at maybe after the year. Um, but uh, obviously, we want to be playing for a long time, and I think we just want to continue to be playing well and building our game. And um, I certainly like uh, the mix of our group, the depth that we have. Obviously, uh, we've been through a lot uh, as a team, as players. Um, there's a lot of maturity, a lot of experience that's happened since I've been here. So. Um, just kind of continue on with that and, and, and uh, like I said, worry about today and, and uh, make the most of it and, and then obviously uh, move on to tomorrow when it comes. In hindsight though, um, looking back at October, do you think that slow start um, has kind of been beneficial when you look back at it? Well, we didn't have much of a choice. I mean, I don't think you ever want to get off to a slow start. The mindset is to, to try to win every game you play. Um, but, you know, knowing the grind of the season and, and the ebbs and flows and the challenges that come, not every year is the same. Uh, it's a different journey, different obstacles, and you just try to meet those challenges when they come. And obviously, it was uh, an early point in the year uh, where things were, you know, we, we didn't get off the start we wanted to. We had a really good uh, training camp uh, uh, exhibition schedule. Things uh, with the team I, I thought were really strong, and we just didn't really seem to find our groove early. But uh, it was a credit to the group, uh, just kind of sticking with it and just knowing it's such a long year. And like I said, just focusing on one day at a time and, and working our way through that. Uh, and getting ourselves back on track. So I think we definitely used it as, as an opportunity for growth and, and that challenge uh, that came at that time. Not as you guys had, have the, the officials, the picture of the officials on the bench there during games. How, when did that start and how important is it to be able to communicate with those guys like on a first name basis? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it was a number of weeks ago. Um, it's something I think that Spez does really well and communicates to the group. Um, just that understanding, but especially... Uh, Obviously, a very emotional 
uh, game. You're extremely invested, and um, you know things uh, uh, can go either way sometimes. And um, obviously, you're wanting calls to go in, in your benefit, and and they're trying to do the best job they can as officials to to manage the game correctly and make the right calls and make the right judgments that happen very fast and fractions of seconds. So, you know, at times you can get heated, and just under and just uh, knowing somebody's name is just uh, it's amazing what it can do to just gain that uh, level of respect and trust uh, and communication with the officials, which is really important. And I know that they, they really strive to do as well and, and knowing players' names and whatnot. So just trying to, you know, have that communication uh, um, and that uh, um, that comfort level um, going back towards them as well. Not looking past tonight, but uh, they play Tampa on Thursday and potential first-round match with them and home ice advantage still in the offing. How much of an emphasis do you put on that on that game? Um, yeah, I think you said it best. We have to play tonight. So, uh, you know, obviously, uh, even if that wasn't the circumstances, you know, they're two times Stanley Cup champ that, uh, obviously have accomplished a lot of great players are a great team. You're going into their building. You expect it to be a very difficult game and a great challenge. So, um, you know, regardless of all that other stuff, I think it's just continuing to go, the way we need to with uh, our approach on a daily basis and do everything we can to be as best prepared and go out there and execute at a high level. Um, those are fun games to play in. And, um, yeah, regardless if, if we see them or not, I think uh, um, you just want to continue to be playing well, and, and that's obviously a great challenge, a great test. Did you uh, get a chance to see, well, Jurassic Park for Raptors fans yesterday out there in the snow? I, I didn't see it, but I'm sure it was fantastic, uh, obviously support for the Raptors and what they've been able to do over the last number of years, obviously winning the championship. Uh, support in the city uh, is tremendous. I've been, you know, trying to follow uh, the games as well. So hopefully uh, it, it can be a, you know, happier ending, uh, I believe, tomorrow night, right? It's next game. So, and, uh, but yeah, great to see um, that kind of come back as well. Obviously it's been the last couple of years and I know we felt it uh, with empty buildings and, and a lot of that uh, uh, gatherings and, and people coming together to, to cheer cheer us on or the Raptors or, or some of the other teams around the city. So uh, it was great to see. What do you think Pierre's taken such a giant step this season? I, I think it's just some of that maturity uh, that I've talked about uh, with, a, with a number of guys and everyone's kind of, you know, uh, meets different challenges, different things personally. Uh, but I think he's just found a real, uh, a real groove uh, probably with his role and just uh, been really, I think, you know, stable and consistent with where he's been in the lineup. And that's a, you know, I think his consistency of his play. Uh, you just see, especially a guy that skates so well and so strong, uh, just how much better and better he's getting at it. Winning puck battles and using his body. Uh, obviously, he's got a tremendous shot and, and really good instincts that way. Uh, I just think he's having a better understanding how he can impact the game um, with his tools because of he's, he's such a... Uh, such so fast and so strong uh, and it's just understanding how to use that and be good at that and he's worked uh, really hard at it um, you know playing off his line mates really well and, and done a really good job of kind of like Mickey in sense the way he's able to put pressure on, on, on the opponent and make them rush plays and um, his speed and his power really puts them on their heels and, um, and he continues to get more and more comfortable I think with bringing that on a consistent basis. Yeah, hockey's there for everyone tonight. I think last Thursday, but you maintained that the pride tape on your stick there. Why is that important to you? Um, well, I've always done that in the past. I think any, uh, uh, even back to my time in New York, any any of the nights we've kind of celebrated uh, any type of awareness or things like that. Um, I don't know, it's just something that I've kind of always kind of kept. So um, I put it on there. I didn't see any reason to, to take it off. So um, yeah, I just kind of kept there with those sticks that I'll, that I'll maintain there until maybe I, I change one up or whatnot. And I wouldn't say anything specific reason other than obviously an important uh, important thing to support and, and something our organization cares greatly about. And, and uh, I know the awareness uh, the guys uh, uh, take to whether uh, that night or many of the other ones are, are important to us and we always try to do the best we can.